there is a bhairava called mahamandana bhairava it seems suppose somebody has abducted something from you if you want to get it back they say pray to mahamandana bhairava okay today morning when i was doing tarpanam somebody had a lot of grief as the person was pouring the water i could feel it because you touch the water and so you put the tilam in that and then you pour the water on the master that is where we come to know when you it looks like i am taking a shower water bath at level when it is from your hands what happens is your feelings will be there in that water that's what we believe we give you the water only for probably a few seconds you may be holding it maybe one or two seconds we don't know our boys are quite fast they are giving today but that is enough if you dust the vessel itself it is enough so i get to know when you put it on my head i get to know your feelings what you are thinking something will have been there you will be carrying all that it will be there normally every person is supposed to be carrying some sort of feeling we will be having some problems after all maybe mundane maybe normal people will say don't worry about all that no all your mundane problems should be taken care of so that you can think something better only if those things are taken care of it's not that once you come to us or canada all your problems are solved that's what we are foolishly thinking in india okay in fact problems become more after coming here <laughs> you are not able to come out <laughs> once you are here you are caught you are not even if you want i know one person he was always telling me uh, guru ji i am coming next year i am coming next i told i didn't ask you to come who I, finally i got is it why he is going on repeating if you are coming back to india it is something like you go home you pack your things you have to take the flight and come to india that's all okay then you throw your visa in bay of bengal and so that you don't have the temptation to come back okay something like that that is how it is okay you don't keep announcing i'll come after 2 years after 3 years what will happen after 3 years who knows nobody knows so when we live a life present we should not be too futuristic you must just live life today then you will be very happy so something was abducted from the person there were about three people i could observe something has been abducted from them and they were feeling a lot about that abduction i want them to get back that whatever it is i don't want i don't i'm not i don't i'm a prayogi i don't go into whether it is reasonable or not whether you can have all such feelings or not i'm not bothered as a prayogi i'm supposed to get you what you want that's all i'm not bothered about the sequence or consequence that you will be facing that's not my problem my problem is to get you what you want that's where we become we become prayogi my guru used to always say don't keep lecturing to people you must be like this that and all no that's not that's not your job your job is to just make them accept and live this life that's all your job is not much so as a prayogi we only look at this so i am not bothered about whether it is reasonable not reasonable unreasonable all these things are secondary for us so when we so i thought let me offer a prayer to mahamandara bhairava he will get you what you have lost even mahamandara bhairava they say sometimes even some material what you might have lost sometimes somebody would have robbed some material or you will join in some partnership that fellow will put on mangada jalabi ka ek dal ke chale jate so all those things you will get back they say when you pray to 
మహామండల భైరవ ఓకే సో దట్ ఈస్ వై వి ప్రే యాక్చువల్లీ ది నామం వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ వీ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ విష్ణు పాదం ద లార్డ్స్ పాదం యూ కీప్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ది హెడ్ లార్డ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హూస్ పాదం యూ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఆల్ రైట్ ఐ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ if lord is going to have somebody's padam we can very well have that person that fellow's padam no why to have unnecessarily this fellow in the middle no lord keeps the bhakta's padam that is the significance the lord is having thiruman means he is keeping the feet of the bhaktas that is what it is said in bhagavatam there is a nice story a small story narada goes to meet krishna so he goes he calls he asks uh, no the first person at home is only the wife no so rukmini was there he said i want to meet krishna rukmini said no krishna is busy he is doing puja nar are we are all worshiping krishna if this fellow is doing puja to somebody i can very well do puja to that fellow why unnecessarily do to this fellow no no you go and see in puja room is there in puja room there was a small vessel one copper vessel was there and he was doing all karpuram with those and soda sobacharam and finally he brought the karpuram and gave it to narada come and take it narada okay theeke kya karenge like it is offering me so okay theeke ah take that kumkum and that chandan also okay theeke then he asked what is this drama why is your this small vessel so powerful that you he said no nothing see down people are there they are all saying krishna krishna that is why i am more powerful because everybody keeps on calling me thereby my power increases my probably people are able to many people come to know about me because some people keep on saying so what i do in turn is after they walk i remove one piece of sand and i put so i pray to my bhaktas pada dhuli so when you pray to bhagavan bhagavan in fact prays you that's what bhagavan and bhagavata the concept is one and the same it is the same at some stage you reach that stage where you see bhagavan in yourself in gita krishna says యోమాం పశ్యతి సర్వత్ర సర్వం చ మయి పశ్యతి తస్ అహం న ప్రణశ్యామి సా చ మే న ప్రణశ్యతి సెస్ యోమాం పశ్యతి వన్ హూ సీస్ మీ ఇన్ ఆల్ సీస్ ఆల్ ఇన్ మీ సచ పర్సన్ నైదర్ మిసెస్ కృష్ణ నార్ కృష్ణ మిసెస్ ఇమ్ సో క్యాన్ యూ సీ కృష్ణ ఇన్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇయర్స్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ ఇన్ గీత 